All right, we're back at the Line 6 booth. I'm here with Marcus Ryle. Last time we looked at the uh, Sagescape mixer, and uh, you guys also have developed some new speakers that can go with the system or can be separate, but um, you've, you've done a lot of work with the, uh, the processing inside the speakers here, too. So let's take a look at what you've got here. Sure. Well, so these are our, our brand new stage source speakers. This is the L3T um, model. And uh, yeah, first we'll talk about how these can work standalone. This speaker is a three-way 1400 watt PA speaker. So it's got plenty of power. And first and foremost, it's really been voiced to sound amazing, which we won't be able to convey for you in this video, but I do recommend anyone take a listen to it. But it's also, we consider it to be really the world's most versatile loudspeaker because of all of its capabilities. First off, as just a single speaker, let's say you're a solo performer. You just would like to uh, play acoustic guitar and sing. It's got a built-in two-channel digital mixer on the side panel. I could plug an acoustic guitar in here and my microphone in here. And not only do I have independent gain controls and three-band EQ with sweepable mids, but I've got individual effects. I've got chorus for the guitar and doubling for vocal. I've got reverb. And on the guitar channel, I even have uh, acoustic guitar modeling. So instead of having that brittle piezo sound, we can put back the warmth of the body of the instrument. So it's really a fantastic sounding system so that, so that this, along with a guitar and a mic, could be a solo performer's entire rig for the coffee shop or whatever gig they might play. Um, in addition, on the rear panel, it's kind of uh, the business end of a standard PA powered speaker. You have a line input um, that can be XLR or quarter inch. There's stereo RCA ins for like an MP3 player. So all totaled, you actually have five different analog inputs. Typical, you know, uh, mix and uh, through outputs depending on what else you might want to connect to. Of course, a volume control. And the next part that's unique here is our speaker modes. With the DSP that's built in, we've done different voicings depending on your application. The, the default is our reference PA, which is just a really great sounding flat sound system. But let's say you're doing more of a DJ type application. You might want to use playback mode, which is going to give you a little more extended lows and, and highs. In floor monitor mode, it automatically compensates for the bass coupling that you get next to a floor. And uh, if you happen to forget to even set in floor monitor mode, it even knows when it's on its side. It has an accelerometer, and it'll automatically switch for you. Then we have um, a voicing that's been voiced for keyboards, a little different crossover frequency for that. Um, then acoustic guitar, and even electric guitar. Electric guitar, it actually sounds, it's voiced to sound like a 212 open back guitar cabinet. So someone using a pod or a guitar modeler that wants to just have a real powerful back line, it's, it's awesome for that too. The next up is L6 Link. This is another unique capability of these speakers. What L6 Link is is a digital audio bus that can uh, do intelligent bidirectional communication. So, the, and it just uses a standard XLR connector. But if I buy a second L3T speaker, I just can hook the first to the second through L6 Link, and now everything I've just described automatically becomes stereo. My reverb is stereo, my vocal doubler is stereo. If I have an iPod hooked up here, it's going to be in stereo. And, but it's more than just combining to stereo. I can now connect additional speakers. If I hook up the L3S uh, subwoofer that I've got here in the chain, it'll automatically recognize there's a sub, automatically set the crossover frequencies, and if there's just one sub, automatically sum the stereo signal to mono for the sub. If it sees two subs, it knows you want still left and right. And I can actually use this to expand this system in a modular way to the point where I could have two towers and two subs on each side of the stage by splaying the towers 90 degrees. I now create a front of house system that's over 10,000 watts all based on these same components. So you finally have something that's truly scalable. Mm -hmm. So there's a problem when you're buying a PA, you know, am I, I don't want something too big, yeah. I don't want something too small. You know, how do I accommodate all the different rooms I might be needing this for? Mm -hmm. Now you can have something where I could just take one to this gig, take two to the next, bring a sub, however much I want to scale, it's mm -hmm. all possible. Yeah. Um, so that's a, a quick rundown. There's other nice touches. The handle works as a kickstand for monitor. If that angle doesn't work for you, uh, we also have these kickstands on the back. So you can angle your monitors 30 or 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, lots of 
fun little details. Does it have fly points built into it? It does, the fly points are built in. And, uh, and there's actually a third model I should mention, the L3M. If you're buying extra speakers and you don't really need the extra digital mixer, mm -hmm. you can buy it without the side panel and save a little money as well. Very cool. So um, speaking of money, uh, pricing and availability on these guys. Well, I'm happy to say all these speakers are now shipping. We just recently started shipping. And uh, the, the L3T is 1199 um, The L3M, which is the same thing without the side panel, is 999 okay. And the subwoofer, the L3S, is uh, 1199 Excellent. And then the, what's cool is when you connect all this stuff together to the, sa the Stagescape mixer with Line 6 Link, it's one cable to the stage, exactly. daisy chain through to all of your speakers, including the monitors, and you pretty much have a complete self-aware system. Exactly. It's great because, I mean, speakers will work with any mixer and the mixer will work with any speakers. But, yeah, combining them gives you this, this additional uh, capability because that one chain knows where everything is. Every speaker that's on its side is automatically a monitor. Right. The left and right is automatically assigned. You see them all show up on the screen automatically. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you were able to do that by just daisy chaining single XLR cables throughout your whole rig. Yeah. Very cool. So we're, uh, we're actually going to be looking at uh, some of these speakers here in the near future. We've got some demos coming, so we'll be able to get you some ideas of what they sound like, because I'm excited to hear it. I'm excited to play with this some more, too. So uh, some good stuff coming out of Line 6.